So for this exercise, this is an extreme, but we want this pad to be below the pelvis, right? Because otherwise, like, what's going to happen if you do this motion, right? So now it is a back extension, okay? If we want it to be a hip extension, hopefully that actually goes low enough. All right, it doesn't. So what I'm going to need for you, Natalia, is actually to go on your toes a little bit. There we go. So what I want is, see her pelvis is right here, is I need that to be able to clear the pad. Because if that runs into the pad at any point in time, it's only going to be spine, okay? But this is a perfect example, right? So right here, her adductors are popped. They're very good hip extensors, right? So you'll see this go ahead and start coming up, right? As she'll get to a point where the glutes are really popped, right? For her, the hand, like those adductors, they're big, but they're not doing anything right now. Okay, start to flex down, 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 down. Okay, there, now there's a lot more tension there. So when she's in full flexion, those adductors are pretty darn strong. So if she is even remotely off balance in that RDL motion, she will just use the adductors in the bottom, right? And you will see that. Like how many of you guys have seen, you can go ahead and relax for a minute. How many of you guys have seen a female competitor that keeps developing every part of their lower body except their glutes. Like they get massive adductors and big quad sweeps and just still no butt, right? They're doing all their hip extension work with the adductors, right? And likely it's because of abdominal stability, head position, setup. okay? So for this exercise, what I will find is that people will either learn hip extension best in this or the banded RDL, okay? The banded RDL is good because the band, like the cues that I was giving her were drive your hips back and push them forward, okay? And that works really good with the band, okay? Stand up for me here and let's do a, just an RDL, okay? How many of you guys have cued an RDL before? Okay, right, come here, turn around so we're doing an RDL. How many of you guys are guilty, let's do an RDL, of cueing the RDL like this? right, of using this motion and be like, okay, now push forward, Sorry. right? Yes, <laughs> come on, somebody's done it before, right? This, I see it on the ground, like even girl, guys, girls, right? Right, so, so th is there anything wrong from a technical perspective of me giving her a cue here and having her hinge, right? So if I'm giving this and I'm giving this cue, right, and then I'm telling her, okay, push into this as you go up, right? Technically, nothing's wrong. Socially, it may not be that acceptable though. So a band, can be a, your, a band can be a good thing just for the cue. Like even if you don't use it for the load, but a band, like a band here, right? That is a little less, you know, porn hubby than, than this <laughs> thing, right? Okay. okay. So, right? So you have to take that into context, right? When you're training, like, the, and that's the same thing, right? So let's go on here. Do I have permission to like oh, yeah. borderline molest you here? Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. So do you always have to ask permission before you molest. before you molest somebody's glutes, right? So if we're focusing on glutes, there should be we want to eliminate as much of this as possible, right? So what we're gonna do there is you gotta go up on your toes again for me so I can get the hips over, right? Right? Is what I want her to do, I'm gonna have her cross her arms over her chest. We're gonna tuck the chin. We're gonna keep the abs tight. Now she doesn't need to be rounded here, but what I will do is I will accept rounded over extended while somebody learns hip extension, okay? Because what I want to do is eliminate this being the thing that moves first and eliminate extra arch at the end, okay? So right now, if we look at Natalia, you see how she's kind of like rounded? I know that she has more flexion in there, right? But her body's just not, like, it's not used to using that. And the reality is, because her quads are all jammed up in here and because maybe she's had some bad intent is that her rec fem was telling her don't let the hamstrings lengthen anymore. So a good cue if people are up here and he's like, well, they have more range of motion than that, why aren't they using it? Is to actually get them to use their quads to kind of pull them, their hips into more flexion. So they're contracting their rec fem and that'll help them get to the bottom of this position, okay? Another cue can be if you take the top of this, right? So go ahead and relax for me, right? If I can take and I can shove this this way, that will help. So come up to the top for me again, right? And let's go through the eccentric. 
So if I see her going through a lot of this motion, I can actually stop her here and I can break, like I'm driving this way. So I'm trying to minimize how much movement she's doing here and coach the hip motion by pushing on the sacrum. But I'm not pushing down, I'm rolling it over, right? And I'm on the sacrum, right? I'm not rolling her butt, right? I'm on the sacrum here, okay? That's for two things. One is, yeah, you're molesting the client at that point in time. But two, I need a lever, right? So I need to be pushing into the actual bone to go over that, right? Okay? All right, so ready to go work on the concentric? Yeah. All right, so let's go to the bottom, okay? A lot of times, the easiest way to get the concentric is sometimes just to let people completely hang and then do all the cues, the chin, the abs, go from there, right? So go to the bottom, okay? Arms crossed, chin, I want the spine neutral or even a little bit flexed, right? Okay, and then our goal is not to extend this, but just to bring this to here, okay? If I wanted more hamstrings, I would be focusing on bringing this down. So you can change your intent. So what I will have people do is do just a little bit of a pinch in, okay? So squeeze the glutes in, and that preloads the glutes, and then we can think about driving this down, okay? So let's go ahead and start, okay? There we go. So right there, we got a little bit of extension. So what I'm gonna do to get her focused on that is like, okay, it's less up, Natalia, and more pushing me down, okay? All right, so I'm finding, this is her glute insertion right here. And I'm taking and I'm pushing that up in translocation. So what I want you to do is push my thumb down your leg. There you go, right? So just feel that kicks on the tension, right? So that's your finish. None of this, it's only driving this to this, so I can come up on that insertion and be like, all right, push these two points close together, right? Like that, okay? Or I can say, all right, maybe I don't wanna palpate her glutes, right? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, yeah. Not because you have bad glutes, but from a social perspective, right? Okay, <laughs> right, so go all the way to the bottom for me, okay? As I am going to make her come in and actually be the palpation source, right? Because you are allowed to touch your own glutes as much as you want, okay? Right? So what I want you to do, you feel this, yeah. right? It's like, a, like you're right in the crevice, right? Yeah. Your goal is to try and push your hands down with your butt, right? Okay? Does that seem to pick up on the contraction? Yeah. Who has better hands, you or me? Uh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> She has to say that. Yeah, she has to say that, right? Uh, one thing that I'm finding challenging is to be being on my toes. Being on, yes. So that's not optimal, but yeah. otherwise you would run into this. So what would be a better solution if putting a plate? Putting putting a plate there, okay? Yeah. Right. And it would. I wish this moved this way. Yeah. Right. Too. Right. If she was like, oh, I really feel that in my back, I would try and eliminate that. If she's getting a lot of glutes and that just happens to be coming along, like day one, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be okay with that, right? I'm not gonna try and make her like have zero spinal movement the same way, because what's happening, right? As her glutes are pulling, the erectors have to stabilize a little bit. So if it is mostly glutes, and yeah, you're getting a little spinal movement in there under like almost no load, as long as we're getting as much glutes as possible, that's the important thing. Right, it's not me trying to eliminate everything else, right? So now, if she's doing this like, oh, I feel it in my back, then I'm gonna try and eliminate more of that. Does that make sense? Okay, if once she starts using load, right, then it's like, okay, we have to be a little bit more strict because now the spine is loaded. So you're not a fan of the, like, the, the tucking in, like breaking curves? It's from a teaching tool, some people need that because otherwise they just hyperextend. Okay. So only if only if you need to do that mm -hmm. to not make it all back. Yeah, right? Okay. But for your back movement, mm -hmm. the thing is it's more glute. Okay. And that's the goal. The goal is not, well, let's just cut these muscles out of your body. You don't need those, right? <laughs> your waist will be smaller, so yeah, we'll just, just start removing things, you know? <laughs> you know, got any organs that we can get rid of while we're at it, right? I just want to make sure that this is moving more. And this is where all the tension is. This is gonna have to flex, like these are gonna have to flex to stabilize this a little bit, right? So if somebody go through this and do an intentionally shitty motion for me of like a lot of back movement, right? Right, so yeah, okay. So I would take flexion 
over that, right? Okay, versus the dolphin pose that we have going on here, right? There you go, right? Okay, beautiful. Um, but I'll, I'm not going to make her focus on this if she's just moving just enough to stabilize her glutes. Does that make sense? What about the foot position, I mean, the leg position? Like, should it be internally? So in this, okay, go ahead and uh, come and face the wall here, right? So just use the wall to balance, like, like just like this, oh. yeah. Right, like you're getting arrested here, right? Okay, what I want you to do is just pick this leg up and go to like a hip extension, just, so just like this, right? Okay, so, oh, that's not. right? So if we look at, okay, what is a fully shortened glute for her? Well, okay, that's kind of in that position. The problem is, is the path to get there has to be this loopy thing, right? So I can't do that in there. So what I'm going to accept is that it's really going to have to be this position, right? And then if I want to get something where I can be a little bit more abducted, this would occur in the bridge, right? So this, even though it's fairly shortened, is not going to be as shortened as she could get here, right? So this is a good exercise. It works the shortened position, like, but not as short as a bridge, right? So with this, we have to load this plane because we don't have the ability to do this. So you don't want to point the toes out like nope, this? Nope, right? Yeah, so if we, if we externally rotate, so if she externally rotates here, does that shorten the glute really in this plane? No, so the, ex so the external rotation of the hip only happens as we're arcing. Like the glute does not do this motion, right? So everybody do this drill for me, okay? Get about shoulder width apart. Okay, and we are going to do the corkscrew the floor, right? So like you're, you're turning your toes out, right? You're corkscrewing, right? Everybody feel something in their hip? Yeah. Maybe a bit of, maybe some of you guys are feeling glute because you're doing stuff. Now watch this. Here's what I want you guys to do is I want you to pinch your butt together, right? Like you got a quarter in between your cheeks, like pinch your butt together, right? But then try and not like push the floor out. I bet you could even turn in while you're pinching your glutes, right? A little bit. So those are two separate things. So the glute max is not an external rotator. Like it does, it does not do this, right? The external, it's like what we were talking about with the, with the pack and the lat and stuff like the rotation that occurs, is just a byproduct of it going through its whole arc of motion, right?